I've always liked my cars modified, you know, I, I wouldn't settle for just, you know, standard. I was a Subaru fan as well as I was a Beetle fan so somehow the two just connected because they box the engines and they were flat motors and I thought you know it, it should work. I remember as a child growing up uh, we, we had family outings and uh, we'd go to the beach. Uh, when we were finished we used to run to my uncle's Beetle and everybody wanted to sit at the back of the Beetle and that would be nice and warm we used to sit in the back and uh, we'd get this new car smell because the car stood in the sun the whole day. So um, that inspired me to, to one day own a Beetle of my own. Clint Kirkwood, he was uh, the inspiration behind the build. I remember distinctly it was a Friday afternoon and my son was still very small, he was probably about four years old or so. And um, Clint offered to take me for the drive in the Subaru built Beetle and I got hooked. It was love at first sight. And that's where the love affair started. So uh, we opt for a two liter Subaru EJ20 turbocharged engine. For the supporting mods, we managed to, at the end, get out almost just over 281 kilowatt, which was quite a, a significant amount for such a small car. When we decided we were going to build a drag car, we obviously wanted the right supporting mods and uh, we then bought uh, off-the-shelf T3 T4 turbo. We had custom fuel rails made, we had 1000cc injectors added on, Clint match ported the intake and the exhaust to get the best performance out of it. On the front we've got uh, BMW disc brakes, on the rear we've got uh, VW disc brakes, we put in a drift handbrake got some racing seats, we've got a full roll cage, we're running on semi-slicks, uh, we've got some ducting that puts the air into the intercooler, so uh, it is functional, it's just not for show, a nice spoiler, and uh, we've got a big drag uh, wing, which definitely helps for downforce down the drag strip. When we originally built the car, we put on 18 inch Porsche cup rims, which we thought will, will go well with the German look um, that we were originally starting with. But that didn't work out too well because it was just a terrible ride. So we ended up buying a brand new set of BBS wheels. We had them widened, 9J and 10J. And uh, that's the custom wheels that we had sprayed, candy apple center with a high gloss black lip. We've also, um, did some upgrades with the polyurethane bushing on the front end. We did some supporting arms with the rose joints. We had some uh, custom coilovers made, front and rear, and uh, some custom springs. So from, from a suspension point of view, we've overruled everything and we feel that we on the right track. We want people to see it, we want, we want to get it out there, we want to showcase what we're capable of uh, uh, doing in our backyard or in our garage. Often people ask me, so you know, where did this color scheme come from? Um, 
one one thing that inspired me was a picture that I saw almost 10 years ago on the internet. So um, thanks to my spray painter Graham who went on this journey with me, uh, we've had our ups and downs in terms of trying to get to the result or a happy medium so to speak and um, I think we've nailed it. I think we've pretty much got something that is damn close to what we originally saw on this picture. Oh, my God.